And in other news that we are following for you right now this evening, fire and emergency crews filled a busy mountain highway this afternoon, but it was not due to an accident. News 13's Rex Hodge is streaming live from the Franklin Fire Department with the latest. Rex? Well, several Macon County Fire Departments wanted to show their support to a young girl badly burned in a fire not long ago who went out of state for treatment and who came home today. The fire hits home because Daphne McCoy's father, who was a fireman himself, died in that place. Welcome home! Welcome home. Macon County firefighters and emergency crews wanted to let nine-year-old Daphne McCoy and her family know they've got their backs. It gets to us and we want to want to be there and do everything that we can for our families and, and each other. They lined busy Route 441 in Franklin to welcome her and her family back to their home county after fire destroyed their Nantahala home in November. Daphne's father, a firefighter himself in the small community, died trying to help his family. Brad McCoy carried Daphne to safety, but she was badly burned and taken to a Georgia burn center for treatment. Not realizing his wife and six-year-old son had escaped through a window, Brad went back into the burning house and lost his life. Franklin fireman Matt Pruitt says Brad was in a special bond. All of emergency services are, are part of us and our family. This is trying to give them some support, showing some positive, letting them know that they're not forgotten by any means at all, and hopefully doing a, a happy homecoming for her. Amanda Blanton with Macon EMS says Daphne is doing okay, but still recovering. She had six surgeries, and she's doing very well. They're still working on some pain management. Donations are coming in from emergency personnel and the community. There is going to be a home built for them. It will be in Nantahala, but residents made the trip to Franklin to be on hand for the welcome. I'm out here because this family has always been really special to me. And donations to help the family are being accepted through United Community Banks in the area. Reporting live tonight from Macon County, Rex Hodge, News 13.